Uh, I'm here at Flash Boxing talking to box trainer George Diaz. So George, I'm a new fighter at your gym. I just yeah. walked in the door. Can you give me a quick tutorial on some of the punching bags you have in the gym? You have all uh, kinds of bags here. You have this uh, one, for example. Uh, actually, the body snatcher bag, how they call it, the round bag. Or how do you work it? Oh, well, just basically you start working. You just, it's just it's a round bag. You can work a lot of things. You can work with straight punches, hooks, uppercuts. You know, you get good, you get good uh, uh, leverage on throwing the, the uppercuts as well. If you had a home garage, which bag would you get for your garage? Will you get this one? I think or not this really. The first one I'll get. Why? And just because you could do all, everything on it. Like what? Uppercuts, everything, everything. It just, it just, it goes all around. And maybe I'll probably get a little, a, a blue bag. Just Let's go to the blue bag then. What's next? This is the typical punching bag. This is the typical punching bag. What does it weigh? Uh, this is gonna be like maybe like 75 pounds, 80 okay. pounds. Okay. So. And how do you work it? Uh, just, I just, usually just work. You can work uppercuts and everything, but usually you don't can't get those. Those really, those uppercuts like in a in a bit in a better angle. So you just work it. You just throw the uppercut instead of going up. You kind of stop to the body. So different shots right here. How many rounds should you do on each bag? On each on each, each bag, I usually have the guys doing how many? Ten rounds here. Ten rounds on, on this one. On the blue ones, I, I have three of them. I usually have them to go ten rounds here. Five rounds on the, on the big black one. On this one, it's a longer bag. You know, it's usually for kicking. Not really my preference of a bag, but, you know, something different. Okay. I usually have them working straight punches and uppercuts. So they get they get used to working the body a little bit more. What about this one right here? How, many, how much does it weigh? This one's got to be like 200 pounds. 200 pounds? So for guys a little bit bigger. Not as, not as small as I am, you know. So, George, when, you, when you're with the bag, is the bag supposed to be flying all over the place? Or is the bag Actually, supposed you to will probably fly a little bit more. Are they supposed to, or are they supposed to stand yeah, up? Right? It just depends what you're working on. Like, you can work, they just these bags a lot of rounds. So, you just work the footwork, around. What's a, really quick, can you give me one minute explanation of proper footwork when you work in a heavy bag? Proper footwork, it's just. Keeping yourself balanced and centered, you know, just depending on why I used to start, I used to start on my toes. Now I'm older, you know, I don't like to be too much on my toes. So as long as you stood, except if you move to your right, you push off with your left, step to your right. Again? Right here. Uh, uh. When you go to your left, you push off to the right, step to to your left. Just keep yourself nice and centered. As long as you're not able to reach for the bag. Are you supposed to, like, do the dip? Right here? What do you mean, which step? When, when you move around the bag? Not really. Step it's just moving around, just the basics. You know, this is when you're rolling in, rolling out. That's when you're kind of like, yeah. you're rolling in, you're rolling out. That's when you know you add some head movement to it. You know, the slipping. Pop, 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 pop. So little moves that, you know, you kind of set yourself up. You want to go to the body or you want to go George, to the head? George, is there any drill people could do to work on their footwork? Uh, How do you teach people when they walk in? Because it's basically just bounce back, back and forth. Uh huh. You know, you try to get low rhythm, and from there with that bounce, you know, you have them skipping forward, skipping back, skipping to your left, skipping to your right. And, and where do the punches come in? Later. Ba, 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 ba. Right there, just keep them right there. Ba, 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 ba. Someone, you get that rhythm, and you get that. You get your timing with your feet and your hands together while you're punching. So basically, instead of uh, instead of you when you're being you're being just sitting in one place, boom, boom, boom. But if you're bouncing, step, 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 keep bouncing. A trainer once told me, ballet, 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 beach volleyball. Like move your feet like ballet, and yeah. when you throw the punch, it's when beach yeah. volleyball. It's, it's just you gotta. It's like kind of like being. It's like you, you got to take the baby steps. You know, you have to learn how to. You have to learn how to put your feet together with with your upper body because usually, most people just use their lower, just their legs like soccer players. They just use their legs, and then boxers just use their hands. But you know, you put everything together. You just you just gotta work on it. Shadow boxing, constantly bouncing, no movements. So it takes practice, it takes time, it takes practice. And from there, you know, you could do 
anything you want with the experience, wherever you want to take it to. There you have it, George Diaz here at the Gym Flash Boxing, talking about working some of the heavy bags. PSLoopReport.com, I'm Elisa Clark reporting.